and we're done success hello and welcome to the video welcome back if you're a regular viewer if you're new here my name is Nick and I buy stuff and I sell it on the internet for profit that's my job here we are in my office should we do an office tour <laughs> I haven't done one for a while this is my office used to be our garage it's now my office um, yeah, for today, I have not been listing very much at all for a while because a lot of you know uh, we are developing an app and that is consuming us time-wise and energy and focus. But I need to keep putting stuff on eBay so um, stuff keeps selling. Uh, we're buying plenty of stuff. I've got piles and piles of gear to sell. So I have forced myself today to pick out five random objects, bulky objects that I've been avoiding dealing with. And we're going to take a look at them, um, test them if they need it, and then get some research done, find out a bit about them. Uh, we can see how much they might be worth to resell, and I'll get some drafts done. Okay, so first item. I picked this up few months ago now at a jumble trail like yard sale trail event thing and it is it says on the front of the box a titan oh it's open <laughs> a titan uh wall chaser um it cuts a channel in a wall for when you're running um electricity lines you know wires for your sockets and stuff um so this needs to be tested to see if it's operating so there you can see it has two rotating blades in here and it enters into the wall that much and you can set that it's locked in place now you can set the depth to where you want and then these little circular blades cut your channel in the wall so i just need to get this plugged in and uh, we'll see if it's running. Okay. Okay, it's working. Right, success. So we will now hop onto the laptop and have a little look at completed. Oh, where are you gone? And um, judge where I'm going to pitch this, and I will find a listing and click sell similar through it and get a draft set up. So using this model number down here, this TTB293WCH, I have done a search on completed. Um, and they vary all the way at the lowest of 30 up to what well, we've got 45 here with 10 pounds shipping um, this made me laugh I don't know if you can see that <laughs> let me bring this a bit nearer almost unused oh, I've got filthy fingers now from dealing with that um, yeah so an almost unused one whatever that means uh, 50 um, so 60, again, these are all pre-owned. I've refined the search to show pre-owned. So 60 there. So I think I'm gonna go for about 60. Um, that's the exact same one, the Titan branding one. So yeah, I think we'll try that. So we're gonna aim for 60 on that. I was just trying to remember how much I paid and I think I paid £15. I do remember I was really unsure uh, whether it was worth it. And I had a quick look on my phone when we were at the Jumble Trail event thing. 15 is what I've got in my head. It will be in a video, in, in a pickups video somewhere. Um, but anyway, while I've got it all out, I'm going to get it set up, get some pictures done. I will click through one of these listings now and get a draft. I'll do some sell similar through one of these and we'll get that on. Okay, so I've given it a quick clean and set it up. So we'll take some pictures in here. I've just laid out the extra bits 
to show that it's got the, the tool for changing the blades, the instructions, etc. And the case in the back there, job done. Right, so that is done, listed. Um, next, oh, before I move on, um, I noticed as I was um, going through a different listing and using that to sell similar, that they had a picture of a serial number and I checked on this one and tucked away underneath was a serial number. So if your electricals have serial numbers, always include a picture of that uh, and repeat it in the description if you want to. Um, it's just a little fail safe for people trying to do that whole switcheroo thing and sending you back a different faulty item. Um, so yeah, I noticed that just before I listed it. Anyway, that's done. So next, completely randomly. So we've gone from a, a power tool to <clears throat> a wooden turned bowl. Is it turned? No, maybe it's not turned because it's not symmetrical. Um, but really, really nice. We picked this up. Um, we were at a Jumble Trail event again, uh, North London this time. And this was only, it was either a pound or two pounds. It's the first thing we picked up that day. And it is uh, Tim Spencer Elm. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Oh, yeah. There you go. It says Tim Spencer Elm. Elm. So it's a fruit bowl maybe um, from one great big lump of elm by the look of it. So I know nothing about it. We just thought it was absolutely gorgeous and we picked it up. So I will do a little bit of um, research and see what I think I'm going to list that for. So, not a great deal of results. Uh, so there you have at the top there, uh, Sycamore Wood Vase by Tim Spencer. Uh, went on offer there. Uh, Ash Wood Vase, 23 plus shipping. Another one there, 27.88, that's a U one. And that bottom one, uh, 20 pounds. Um, now this thing is is huge. It's I don't know what that is. It's a foot and a half across. I'm not sure where to go. I'm thinking I'm thinking I might put it on at 40. I can always come down. I'd rather start high and, and come down. I've still got filthy hands from that thing. <laughs> um so yeah, I think we'll go 40. Okay, so the draft is all done. I'm just going to get a few pictures in here. All of the different angles. Make sure I get a picture of the little signature on the base. And we will be good to go. Right, so that is listed. Next, I'm going to class this as one item, even though it's five. Is it five? No. Six boxes. It is. This. Now, you may remember us picking this up. It wasn't that long ago. Again, at a Jumble Trail event thing. Fairly local this time we were. I just asked Andrea because I can't remember what we paid. In my head, I think it's five pounds and that's the number Andrea had in her head. I remember being shocked how cheap the lady, you know, quoted us on this we it was all set up i haven't shown you what it is yet i'll show you in a sec um it was all set up on the table and i thought maybe she means five pounds an item a letter but no five pounds a lot now what it is is let me get one out they are light up i don't think there's any power in these no, light up letters and it spells out Mr. and Mrs. So for a wedding, almost certainly, right? Now, price wise, these things aren't cheap. Um, I'm gonna do some research again now. I did look it up at the time when we got home, but I can't remember the numbers. Let me quickly show you another one. This is the M. So I will need to test these. So I'm going to put some batteries in, check that the bulbs are all functioning, etc. So I can 
I can, uh, you know, declare if any bulbs are out or whatever. Um, so we'll get that done. We'll get it researched and drafted and all ready to go. Very cool. Just getting these tested. I've, I've just turned the office lights off because these were barely showing up. I think this needs to be in dim uh, lights or at night time to really be effective. But there you can see, that's what they look like. Uh, this one's all fully functioning. They just take two, two AA batteries in there. And we're done. Success. In an ideal world, I'd get them all set up with batteries in and get some pictures at night time. I can't be bothered with all of that faff. So I've just taken some pictures of, of one individual letter to show what they look like lit up. And I'll do some daytime pictures of the whole thing laid out. But I've just done some research. Now, I think my initial research, I was looking at way bigger signs that sell well are being hired um, in the hundreds of pounds and sell for crazy money these and interestingly I noticed are not quite in that league <laughs> there's a tiny little price on here of 15 pounds a letter so they're not as expensive as I had imagined but um, obviously, if you're going to go out and buy them new, £15 times, what is it, 6 is that 60 70 £90. So I think I can reasonably push for maybe 60 or 50 I'd probably start at 60 put them on maybe 60 with offers. Something like that. Sounds good to me. <laughs> now, you may be able to hear a whirring in the background. I've just put my next item on to see if it's functioning. And it's this. Now this we picked up again at a jumble trail event thing. I think it owes me, I think it was two pounds. It's a uh, Coca-Cola branded little fridge. I've just plugged it in. I'm gonna leave it running for um, 15, 20 minutes, assuming it's going to, make the inside nice and cool and be working. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look, see what these things go for. Right, so let's see what my two pounds investment is likely to get me back. So at the top there we have similar size fridge, different uh, detailing on it, 20 pounds plus shipping. That's a completely different thing, so is that. That's a similar design, different uh, printing on it again. 31 plus shipping used, that's not bad. That is, that's exactly it. That's the same design. Uh, 32 on bids with 10 pounds shipping. So not bad, over 40 pounds all in when you include the shipping. Uh, another similar one there, 30 plus shipping. That's the same one again with the polar bear. 36 plus 450, so 40 pounds. Uh, similar one there on bids, ended at 16. 30 on bids there, that's the same one again. 26 on bids, 15. So you can see on auction, this is why I tend to steer away from auction because one further up ended at about, was it 30 odd? But this one ended at 15, so it's a lottery. I'd rather name my price and, and get it. So I'm thinking 40 quid. There's another one, 43 plus shipping. Yeah, I think that's achievable. Okay, so it's been a while now, so we should have a cold interior. Oh yes. Yep, icy cold in there. Now, I've just noticed there is a, a slot either side for a shelf. It doesn't have a shelf, um, so I will declare that, but it shouldn't matter. I think these are designed to take like four bottles of Coke or four cans of beer or whatever. So yeah, that shouldn't affect it. But yep, that's all working, good to go. Took a bit of a punt for a couple of pounds, 
and yeah looks like there's a market for that which is fantastic so I will click through one of these listings now as a sell similar and get the draft ready and then get the pictures done and get that one listed so the last item for today in my bid to move some bulky stuff and make some space is this now we're in summer people are out in their gardens they're doing their maintenance and repairs and stuff so it's a good time i think to list this spray station so this is an erlex spray station the complete the complete paint spraying system uh, again another item we picked up on one of these jumble trail event things um i spoke to the woman she had bought it to spray the outside of her house and had never got round to it so it's new in the box from what i remember the conversation let's have a look so there's a sealed box here which i assume has power leads in it and the unit itself yeah it's absolutely brand new not a mark on it excellent so let's find out what i'm going to get back now i think i paid 10 rings a bell <laughs> on this so yeah let's see what i'm likely to get back on that okay so completed in ebay so we've got a used one there at 30 plus shipping Again, sorry about the state of my nails. It was from cleaning that um, that wall chaser earlier. Um, another used one there, 30 plus shipping. Ah, here we go. So new 50 um, plus shipping. Okay, yep, same model. Uh, used 37 and new other 35 plus shipping. Well, I'm going to go for the 50 then. 50 plus shipping sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, it looks like in the box is going to be that, that canister, um, which I assume holds the paint. Or is it the spray? Ah, oh, maybe the, the bit you hold and with the, you know, the squirty bit. <laughs> um, because the, the mains lead is all wrapped around in here. don't know if you can see. Um, anyway, so... I will now use this listing we just looked at to generate a draft, get the pictures done, get that on. And then that will be me done for the day listing. And I'm going to get back onto working on the app. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you are new here, please think about subscribing. We put out videos all the time about how we earn a living by buying and selling stuff on the internet. I will pick out a video, another one of these where I, where I go rummaging in my stock and pick out a bunch of items to sell. I'll pick out one of those and pop it up here. So please check that one out if you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon.